is this thing on? So what up, Guru Nation? I'm actually checking comments right now. It's been a long day at the clinic, but I'm checking comments on YouTube. And I got one today from somebody that says, Hey, Dan, just want to say I discovered your channel a couple months ago. Followed your steps like getting GCP certification, protecting human research patients, watching your four-hour crash course, getting my BLS. Just last week, I got hired as an assistant coordinator in my early 20s with only a high school diploma. Thank you for everything, Dan. I got to say thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. More importantly than all of that, thank you for implementing what I say. Because a lot of you guys are in the same situation. You want advice, but then you don't put into action what I say. So today I got asked the question, hey, I'm in business development for a CRO. I want to transition to project management or CRA. What are some transferable skills? And it's like, really? Think about what you've done. If you've done business development for a year, what do you do? That's a high pressure situation. You have to work with a lot of different people on your team. That means collaborating with others. You have to deal with deadlines. You have so many things. You get to deal with your uh, sponsors when they're asking you questions about requests for proposal. There's so many transferable skills. So it's not a matter of what you know. It's a matter of implementing, putting into practice um, what you already know, guys. All right. So you don't even need a bachelor's degree. You can be a CNA, you can be a medical assistant, or like in the case of this person, you can get started. All you need to do is get started, and most likely your start is going to be at the site level. Sites right now are so overworked. My CNA, for those that have been following my journey, Desiree, I just hired her. This is her second week. She's been such a big help already. Right? And I'm just training her. Like She's only in week two of the CRC Academy. But she's already been a big help just at least going to chase down the PIs for signatures. At least going to retrieve lab kits when a new shipment arrives. Teaching her how to... She already knows how to draw blood. So when a patient comes in, drawing their blood. I mean, these kind of things are so helpful to an overworked site, site owner in a labor shortage so guys and gals if you can't make it in this market something's seriously wrong with your execution not with your knowledge all right i talked to an rn today an msn rn so registered nurse she's going to take the cra academy i'm going to go out on a limb here and say within and this is exactly what i told her within six months you're going to be a cra um you might start out as a remote site monitor but then within six months of that, you'll be a CRA. So the, the, the opportunities are there. It's a matter of implementing your knowledge, putting to practice what you know. That's the important thing. It's not learning more, getting more certifications. That stuff doesn't matter, guys. What matters is you doing something about it. Perfect example. Perfect example. The other day, Somebody reached out to me on LinkedIn, and let me read you exactly what they said. There, look at Sonic over there drinking from the water fountain. Sonic's amazing. All right, this person reached out to me on LinkedIn and said, Hey, Dan, I'm an international medical graduate. I watched your video. Here's a perfect summary of like the problem with, I, I think it's the mindset, okay? Hey, Dan, I watched your video. I'm an international medical graduate. Here's my CV. I have no experience in research, but I watched your video on why how sites need help, which is true. I wish I had an IMG in Yuma right now. Can you connect me with sites in your area? And it's not so much that I like don't want to do this, but for one, it's not practical. Like I can't possibly scale myself when I'm busy with so many other things to like just help everybody you know i have a hard enough time keeping up with my own cra academy students crc academy students when they need help like a job referrals which by the way happens every single day but for somebody just watching from youtube like you watch the, the video i literally tell you how to go approach the sites in your area right 
then the question becomes, well, how do you find these sites in your area? And it's this thing called Google, where you Google clinical research and your zip code, and then you just go down to page three, and you'll be amazed how many sites you find. Go there and help them, tell them why they need why they need you. All right, you're not going to have to go to too many places, smaller places, the smaller the better, before you get somebody to say yes to an international medical graduate. Are you kidding me? So the fact that I can definitely send this person's resume to like a lot of sites I know, if I know sites in those areas, I don't always know a site in every city in the world. Um, but the fact that you sought out these sites says something to that hiring manager or to the site director. All right. Obviously, if you're a referral, if you're referred by somebody and, and the site has respect for that person who's referring the candidate, that goes a long way too. But that requires you to network and have connections. So I realize a lot don't have that luxury. And so the next best thing you can do is show the sites. Don't tell them. Don't tell them why they need to hire you. Show them why they need to hire you by going out of your way unsolicited and reaching out. And let me tell you what sites need help with. Getting more studies. You can help them by going to clinicaltrials.gov and emailing leads or going on LinkedIn and networking with other sites in other parts of the country. They need more patients. So you go out to other physicians. You pass out flyers in the community. You go to shopping malls and talk to people. You go to support groups and talk to people. Right? They need more clinicians in the community. So if you're an international medical graduate, guess what? You're a clinician. Now you can talk like peer-to-peer -peer with other clinicians in your area to try to get more interest for that site. And then they need help digital marketing. So if you're on things like TikTok, Instagram, a lot of sites don't have that and realize they need to have that. So those four things, you go in there with any of those that you choose. You don't need to do all four. You go in there with any of those four that you're most passionate about and feel strongest about. And you let those sites know why they're missing out if they don't let you work there. As an assistant, as somebody taking out the trash, whatever they need, it's not going to last long. Whatever your first job is in research, it's not going to last long unless you're, not, you're at an academic medical center. So just some things I wanted to share with you guys. It's some common themes I've been, I've been um, experiencing this week from people that are, you know, understandably frustrated because they keep hearing me say it's such a hot market. And then they're saying they're having issues and there's just so many options, so many opportunities. And it's the fact that you have to work for it that actually will make it stand out more to prospective employers, but also make you develop a certain kind of skill set that you can carry on with you throughout the rest of your career. So thank you so much, Guru Nation. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.